Hey guys, even here and in this video we're gonna do an analysis of the Flex Pro or Italy Pro and as you guys know the winner ended up being Bekrus Tabani and Nathan Diasha took the second spot and it was extremely close I actually made a pre-judging video analyzing pose for pose and trying to predict who's gonna win it but as soon as I finished making the video the results were out Bekrus won so I decided not to post that one but to make another one now that we know the results so basically again Bekrus won but while I was watching the pre-judging I had no idea who's gonna win this show because it was so extremely close and we're gonna go pose for pose in a moment they actually did a two-man call out so we're gonna try to compare these guys to see why backwards actually won this right here has to be one of the reasons simply the conditioning in the glutes and just the look of the back in both poses back double and back lat now as far as the the front pose and the side poses I thought Nathan really brought crazy fullness was this his best conditioning no but he was super blasting full just like I predicted in my earlier video today if you guys watched it he looked like he was bringing the fullness and he truly brought it and also I don't think his conditioning was that far off from Backrose. I mean sure Backrose was more conditioned drier but he wasn't as full and Nathan was a lot fuller and rounder and also Nathan had crazy confidence I thought that might help him a lot look at this for example right here he wanted to go more he wanted to do more rounds and actually they ended up doing a two-man call out and who won this one we're gonna see in a second I would say that Beckers was kind of fading a little bit more because he was getting more tired than Ethan I'm guessing he was more dehydrated and if you guys are competitors you know how much more difficult it is to pose when you're dehydrated compared to when you are not and Beckers was definitely drier than Ethan but again Nathan even though he was much fuller he wasn't that much less conditioned because of that fullness certain muscles looked more separated especially the legs we all know that Bechrus doesn't have the best legs and it's not just the size overall but it is the separation on Nathan you can see the lateralis the vestus medialis the rectus femoris you can see the adductors and Bechrus's legs are kind of washed up of the details from the sides it was different I mean Bekrus really showed crazy separation in the glutes and the hamstrings we're gonna go pose for pose in a moment but once again overall when I was watching the entire show the overall impression to me was Nathan was blasting full and his legs were better Bekrus on the other hand was more detailed sharper drier had prettier structure he won back poses but I wasn't sure who is actually the rightful winner of this show because it was extremely close if you ask me at least also I gotta say I prefer Nathan Diasha when he is this full I don't like him too dried out yeah maybe he can get more conditioned but I like it when he is blasting full he looks so much rounder so much bigger so I don't think it's the conditioning that made the difference here I think it's more so the structure and also an imbalance I don't know if you guys noticed but Nathan's left leg is a lot smaller than his right one and that's the area where he's better than Becker's a lot better but because of that imbalance because of that asymmetry it probably hurt him it probably hurt him a lot but okay sure Becker's was also more conditioned more polished so that definitely played a big role now let's go with the poses once again and let's pause at each one and try to analyze these two guys so front double bicep as you guys see Nathan's left bicep was torn and so was the right one but the right one looks fine the left one looks a lot shorter kind of like Dorian Yates bicep so that did hurt him in this pose uh, Backrose looks fresh really nice and fresh and also the shape of their upper bodies Nathan's torso is a bit too long for the length of his legs you can see the difference in structure Backrose is much better in that regard also you know the waist to to shoulder ratio Backrose has a better wee taper arms are looking more aesthetic but Nathan was fuller you know a lot fuller everywhere lats chest arms shoulders even abs I would say and especially especially more so than anything else legs not that they were just fuller they're simply bigger better more developed again you can see the separation 
you can see where is the west medialis, where is the lateralis, where is each head of the quadricep. And Nathan is not exactly known for his quads. That's also kind of like his weak area, but next to Becker's, his legs looked a lot bigger, a lot fuller. So in this pose, I mean, upper body, it's Becker's structure overall, it's Becker's, I guess you can say conditioning and sharpness, it's Becker's, but the legs... Nathan is obviously much better, but that one leg is smaller, which is an issue, so yeah, I can see Becker's winning this pose, but if there wasn't for that uh, leg imbalance, I guess I would go with Nathan, because of his fullness and size and completeness, you know, his legs, even though one is smaller, they're bigger than Becker's and more detailed, and I really like the fullness that Nathan brought, it really drew my attention, but yeah, I can definitely see it was, it was extremely close. Now, as far as the front lat spread, it was kind of same story, right? Structure on Becker's side, fullness on Nathan's legs. I would go with Nathan. Here, for example, he managed to hide the leg imbalance. He put his left foot forward a little bit more, so you couldn't even notice the leg imbalance here. And his legs are so much better, so much bigger and fuller than Becker's. And also, like, his fullness in the chest and the shoulders and the arms, I really liked it. I liked it more than Becker's dried-out look. And because of the legs, I'd give this one to Nathan. But be my guest, tell me who do you have here? Now, as far as the side poses, side chest, I actually like the way Nathan was hitting it with that transition. And Becker's, before, like, in his posing practice and in the earlier rounds, Becker's was pulling the stomach in, doing a vacuum when he was hitting the side chest, and he couldn't do it here, because he was winded, it was uh, like fourth round uh, in a row, look at it right here, look at his midsection, it was, it was popping out a little bit more, and uh, also Nathan was doing the same thing, so he wasn't losing any points on this, but he couldn't do his usual thing, and what do you guys think about this transition that Nathan was doing? I think it was awesome, he was showing that crazy fullness in the shoulders and the chest, now, as far as the pose itself, lower body, obviously, Becker's has that crazy amount of details in the glutes. Who has glutes separated like this? It's, it's really rare to see. So I definitely give him the, the lower body and the side chest. But as far as the upper body, I mean, he also looks kind of aesthetic and like he has separation, he's drier, but Nathan has the fullness in the shoulders and the arms and the chest. So I don't know. I don't know, it's a close one, I think Becker's is standing closer to the camera, so he kind of looks bigger, and I don't think he is at all, I think Nathan is actually bigger, but Becker's has like wider frame, so in some shots he looks like a bigger man, which I don't think he really is, but you know, bodybuilding is an illusion, so in this pose it's really close, I guess you can give it to Becker's because of the lower body, but I really like the fullness of the upper body of Nathan Diasha. Now, as far as the side tricep, Nathan was hitting it immediately after the side chest, and Becker's, he always had to change to the other side. He was hitting the side chest with one side, and side tricep with the other one. But when he would hit the pose finally, he would look better in this one. I mean, Nathan was having trouble keeping the stomach in, or holding the hands behind his back, and he looked uncomfortable, while Becker's looked really mo much more comfortable, and also like the shape, the structure of his upper body in this shot, you know, the chest, the shoulders, the arms, uh, the stomach, and then also the details in the lower body, yeah, it was enough, he won this pose, I give him this one easily. And now we come to the back poses, and as I said, as we all expected, Becker's was gonna win uh, these two, especially uh, back double bicep. So, crazy amount of details in the glutes, and I'm not saying that Nathan was not in condition from behind, like, his glutes were in, they were lean, but he was a little bit too full to look good in this pose, you know, his glutes weren't showing crazy separation, and Becker's was really showing that, exactly that, he was really dry in those glutes, and the hamstrings also, he was showing a lot of detail there, and also his quads were popping out more, I think he is closer to the camera, and that's why he looks so much bigger, he's not this much bigger, but still, still, his lower body looks a lot bigger, and also, like, his waist looks smaller, and his shoulders are wider, crazy, crazy X-frame, you know, legs and lower body massive, super small waist, and then shoulders popping out, like, it's insane, you know, this pose looks crazy on him, and also, like, the lats are lower inserted and just thicker, Nathan, he's not exactly known for his back double bicep, you know, there isn't a lot of lat going on, a lot of traps and shoulders, but not a lot of uh, back itself, 
As far as the back lat spread, I would say it was closer because of Nathan's fullness. He was actually showing that fullness in the traps, but still, the lower body of back rows, it was just so detailed. And also he was wider in the shoulders and lower lats were just thicker. There was simply more muscle in the back itself. So yeah, I think uh, back rows easily won both back shots. And you know, back poses are very, very important, probably more important than the front poses, as we saw at the Mr. Olympia, not just last year, but multiple times. As they say, shows are won from the back, but now they turn to the front, and they're gonna hit an absent tie pose, which I think, I mean, look, Nathan, he has that crazy fullness, and that makes his legs look a lot better than, than Bechrus's. Like, Bechrus was so flat, but even if he wasn't, I don't think it's simply the flatness issue. I just don't think his legs have the detail. And Nathan apparently does. And the way he was hitting this pose, you couldn't see the imbalance. So when he would flex right here, you could see all the heads of the quadricep, and you couldn't see any of those on Bechrus. However, the abs, very close... I couldn't choose one, but the way uh, the way uh, Nathan Dash is crunching, he's crunching a little bit too much, and it's ruining the aesthetics of his upper body. And Beckers is opening up really nicely, showing that V taper, showing the lats, uh, showing the small waist. Uh, Nathan is crunching the abs, and he's also contracting the obliques, which is making his uh, waist look bigger. So I would say overall, Beckers looks more aesthetic, you know, upper body. But as far as the lower body. You, I mean, he also stands very well, you know, it's a good stance, and, you know, it all flows really well, but you don't see any cuts, any separation, any, any muscle in his legs, it's all just washed up, so because of that, I would rather go with Nathan, even though he's doing it the way he's doing it, because of the separation in the legs, and Bacchus has none. But now we come to the most muscular shot, and this one is actually really amazing, both of these guys are looking great in this one. Bechrus looks like a freaking superhero, right? Like a cartoon character. I mean, his legs are a little bit smaller than his upper body, but that kind of adds to that superhero look, right? Cartoonish look. Uh, also, like, his shoulders are super wide, arms as well, looking crazy in the most muscular. Chest is so separated and so symmetrical with those abs as well, with small waist. Yeah, with those capped shoulders especially, like, he looks nuts in this pose. And Nathan, here is where his leg imbalance is the most noticeable. You can definitely see it very clearly. He couldn't hide it here. So his left leg a lot smaller than the right one. If both of his legs were like his right one, then I think he would win this show. Because he would be more complete. But even like this, like, his legs were bigger... I still liked his legs more than Bechrus's. You know, that imbalance, that's a big issue. You can't have stuff like that. Also, the bicep. You know, one bicep was, you know, definitely shortened. It didn't look the same as the right one. So, it's a huge thing. It's an imbalance. Uh, if there was no Bechrus in this show, of course, Nathan would win. So, it's not like he can't win any more shows. It was just that Bechrus was here and Bechrus is phenomenal. You guys gotta admit it, I mean, he potentially even beat William Bonac. William Bonac maybe won that show based on his name only. Bechrus, in my opinion, is definitely a top 10 material, maybe more so like top 7, top 8 material, I don't know. But like, he's phenomenal, if he could make those legs a little bit more detailed and bigger, whew, this guy could go far, this guy can go, I mean, if he had great legs, he would be a top 3 Olympian probably, right now, the way he is. Yeah, those legs are definitely stopping him, but they're definitely not preventing him from winning this show right here. He beat Nathan Diasha, but it was definitely a very, very close call. Whatever you guys think, whoever you had winning, or whatever your thoughts are now after the show, tell me down below in the comment section. If you guys enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. For more content like this, guys, subscribe to this channel. Thank you so much for watching. See you soon. All the best, and bye-bye.